Fear was a sensation Jonathan Burton was familiar with. Fear of making a fool of himself. Fear of failing. Fear of not being good enough. Fear of forever living in his brother's shadow. Each of these threatened to crush him as he stood for the first time in the pulpit of the small rural church and faced his new congregation, which included a man in a scarlet coat. The Northwest Mounted Police Constable had the nerve to grin as he sauntered up the aisle to find a place in one of the front pews. He drew his flat-brimmed Stetson from his head and hooked it on his knee, that blasted grin never leaving his face. Jonathan couldn't smile if he'd wanted to, not with his heart threatening to choke him. Why hadn't Mother said something to him when he'd told her that Rowley, Alberta, would be his new home? Unless this was her doing. Jonathan forced a breath. Yes, that made more sense. Mother must have told David of Jonathan's new position, and he was simply visiting. Forcing his gaze away from his brother, Jonathan looked over the rest of his congregation. Not a huge group, no more than 50 people, including young children and babies, but they were his, his sheep. A large pair of bright eyes caught his, staring up with expectation and something more. Probably the same something that caused the woman to lean forward while her hands clutched her Bible. Hope. He wished he had more confidence he'd not disappoint her or anyone else, himself included. Jonathan cleared his throat. Good morning, brothers and sisters. For those who don't know, my name is Jonathan Burton, and I will be your new pastor. After so much work and study to get here, he could smile about that. Before we get into my message for you today, I have been asked to extend an invitation for the community to meet after church. A picnic lunch has been organized by Mr. and Mrs. Matkin. It should give us the opportunity to visit and come to know one another better. He couldn't help but glance back to the woman with golden hair pulled up in a loose bun and a shyness in the way she held herself. I look forward to meeting each and every one of you but especially her.